This is an instructional video for how to remove the micro switch on the multi mixer assembly. First, make sure the cord is not plugged in. The tools you'll need for this task is a small flathead screwdriver, a medium sized flathead screwdriver, and small needle nose pliers. First, remove the cup holders from all of the spindle assemblies. We've removed all the cup holders beforehand. Next, using the small needle nose pliers, remove the cotter clip that is closest to the spindle housing, pull straight up to unclip it from the brass pin. Next, remove the brass pin from the linkage. We've performed this on the other four spindle assemblies on this mixer. Next, rotate the linkage out of the way so that we may lift the switch ring assembly. Once all five linkages are out of the way, you will be able to lift the assembly. Before you do this, remove the spring that's attached to the switch ring frame using the needle nose pliers. Rotate the switch ring up out of the way and remove the two screws that's holding the micro switch in place on the frame using the medium sized flathead screwdriver. Once the micro switch is loose, you need to remove the two terminal screws to disconnect from the line cord. We gotta get this loose first. Okay. Before you can remove the terminal screws, you need to remove the one large screw on the bottom of the switch ring frame. Start. 